Find the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic sequence if the tenth term is negative twenty-two and the nineteenth term is negative forty. So we know that a sub ten is negative twenty-two and we know a sub nineteen is equal to negative forty. So there's two ways to go about solving this. One way is to pretend that a sub ten is a sub one temporarily. By doing this we can determine the common difference d and then come back to the original sequence and determine a sub one. I show this method in another video. In this video we will show how to determine the first term and the common difference d using a system of equations. Since we have an arithmetic sequence, we know that a sub n is equal to a sub one plus the quantity n minus one times d. So if we know that a sub ten is equal to negative twenty-two, if we substitute negative twenty-two for a sub n, we know n is ten. Let's perform that substitution. So we have negative twenty-two equals a sub one plus, again, n is ten because we're using a sub ten here, so we have the quantity ten minus one times d. Notice how we have an equation with two unknowns. And now let's do the same for a sub nineteen. If we substitute negative forty for a sub n, then we know n is nineteen, giving us the equation negative forty equals a sub one plus the quantity nineteen minus one times d. Simplifying, here we have negative twenty-two equals a sub one plus nine d. And the second equation we have negative forty equals a sub one plus eighteen d. And now we can solve this as a system of equations to determine a sub one and the common difference d. Let's use the method of elimination. Notice how we have a sub one in both equations, so we could subtract the two equations or multiply one equation by negative one and then add the equations. So let's rewrite the equations down here. We have negative twenty-two equals a sub one plus nine d, and we have negative forty equals a sub one plus eighteen d. Let's multiply the second equation by negative one, leave the first equation the same, and then we'll add the two equations together. So the first equation stays the same. Now we multiply both sides of the second equation by negative one, which gives us positive forty equals negative a sub one minus eighteen d. And now we'll add the two equations together. Negative twenty-two plus forty is positive eighteen equals a sub one plus negative a sub one is zero. So these terms simplify out. Nine d plus negative eighteen d is negative nine d. So now we divide both sides by negative nine and simplify, and we have d is equal to negative two. So now that we know d is equal to negative two, we know the common difference is negative two. And now to determine a sub one, we can use either of the equations that we formed. Let's use this equation here, where we know that negative twenty-two equals a sub one plus nine d. So now we can substitute negative two for d and solve for a sub one, giving us negative twenty-two equals a sub one, and then we have plus nine times negative two. So notice how here we have plus negative eighteen which is the same as minus eighteen, giving us negative twenty-two equals a sub one minus eighteen. To solve for a sub one, we add eighteen to both sides. Simplifying, we have a sub one equals negative twenty-two plus eighteen is negative four. So the common difference d is negative two, and the first term is negative four. I hope you found this helpful.